I'm with Michael Kittner of the 360 Heroes Company, and uh, looks like you guys are continuing to do crazy things with the GoPro. Oh, we're having a great time with the GoPros. It, uh, it, it just, especially with the new Hero 4 Blacks, it just gives us more capability to be more creative and higher resolutions, which is awesome. So I don't know what that last product is. The GoPro Hero 4 is uh, the GoPro's latest cameras, and then uh, because our holders work with the Hero 3s, the 3 Plus, and the 4s, um, we're allowed to, our holders will work in every single one of those, but we're allowed to take advantage of the new uh, features of the Hero, Hero 4 cameras. I got you, I got you. So you guys make these, uh, these crazy holders that I see here. Yeah. What, what is the purpose of this? You've got, and this is audio as well, so this is a whole bunch of GoPro heroes in uh, a blue case kind of bonded at right yep. angles to each other. Well this is all 3D printed, okay. Um, we've partnered with a company called 3D Systems who helps, the, uh, helps us uh, mass produce these, uh, uh, this gear. And this is actually the part of the invention. It's the cameras are specifically placed and oriented in a certain configuration and array so that as we go to film each one of these, we can make sure that we capture full 360 all the way around, as well as full 180. So it's full spherical data. So now you've got, uh, how many of those are there, six? There are six here on this one. And because it's a flexible nylon, I can actually slightly push, pull, bend this back, and pull that camera right out. Oh wow, of a 3D printed thing. Oh this nice. It's all flexible and bendable, it won't break. And if it does break, we just replace it for you. It's no charge. And then we can just snap that camera back into place. And because that snaps into place, we've had this gear going uh, about 285 miles an hour on plane. Oh, wow. uh, you mean outside, not inside the plane? Outside the plane, yep. And uh, let me see, plus 12 Gs, minus six Gs. Nice. So, so now I, I get home and I've got six SD cards with six movies. What do I do now? Well, uh, there's a couple things. The first thing you do is uh, we have a software package called 360 Cam Man. And that software package uh, actually manages the GoPro cards for you. So it tells you what take you did, which one was good, did the GoPros fire, all those types of things that you're trying to figure out you know, after you've done your shoot. And this software will go through all that stuff and do that for you almost instantaneously. So as you plug in the cards, it instantly takes care of it. So then when I'm done with the, I've put in six cards, what does it produce? Well, what it does is um, it prepares the data so that you can now stitch the content. Okay, so, so there's another piece of software that does the stitching? Yeah, another software actually breaks it apart frame by frame and then stitches it all together. And then after that stitch, the, the trick is, is how do we play it? Right, right. So much for 360. My, my uh, TV screen is not 360. Exactly. So from there, what we do is um, we have players that we give to everyone. So you can download the 360 Heroes app. And then what's even better is normal video is anywhere between 30 and 50 megs, let's say, for, um, you know, like a one minute or two minute segment. Sure. Well, the same amount in 360 video is anywhere between 500 megs and a gig. Okay, that's yeah, so great. So it's really big. So what we've done is we have a 360 video hosting center. It's free. So, oh, so you host the video for us yes. too. Oh, yes. We stream it and we use CDN technology to be able to do that for you. That's Content Delivery Network? Yeah, Content Delivery Network. Look at me you knowing my acronyms, yeah. huh? I'm good at this. And, um, and the neat part is with that, we allow the producers to customize the players so that they can do any way they want to do with it. And then we can actually show you some demos on how that works as well. So. Okay, so um, Justin that was here earlier, uh, poor Justin frying in the sun all afternoon yeah. <laughs> while you were in the truck. Anyway, I, I just keep yanking your chain. Um, he was showing us that on his iPhone, you could, you could hold up the iPhone and turn around and and you could see inside this 360 movie. Exactly. So it, it actually works with the gyro and the accelerometer of the phone. So it kind of interacts and moves with you in the environment. And right now, the technology is changing so fast that you were required to have an app to be able to do that. Well, we're very proud at CES. We're releasing our new version of Player, and you don't need an app anymore. It's called WebGL. 
and you can actually take your phone you can surf to that page and it'll let you manage and surf that page just like uh, any other type of uh, a normal player wow this is pretty cool so if someone wanted to view these movies before they go out and, and buy one of these uh, devices here, uh, is there a way they can just go view them? Yeah, you can go to uh, www.360heroes.com. We have um, over 700 uh, producers in our network right now, so you can click videos up on top, and you can see a really cool interactive map of uh, where the videos are shot all over the world. You can click on them or select them by categories. You can watch and stream it to your phone, download it to your phone, whatever you want to be able to do. See, I love this idea because I'm not the kind of person who's actually ever going to go do any of those things that people with GoPros <laughs> are doing, but I can sit in my comfy chair and pretend I'm there. Exactly. Well, it was really interesting. Uh, uh, a good friend of mine, um, uh, she's you know, she's crippled. She can't, can't really move, and she's like, I've always wanted to go downhill skiing. And she can grab a hold of that and take her wheelchair and literally spin herself around and be and watch it. And oh, that is so cool! Like she's skiing, or underwater scuba diving with 31 sharks around you. We can show <laughs> you some really cool footage there. Yeah, which I, again, I'm not going to do. Yes, <laughs> I, one or two sharks, I'm okay, but you know, 32 probably not. Yep. Well, we can even show you some examples where we actually took. Um, and you can see one of our $10,000 prototypes getting eaten by a great white shark. Okay. And we never got it back. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll have to get a link to that to put with this video. Thank you very much for your time. This is awesome. All right. Sounds good. Thank you very much. A pleasure.